step 9 na tayo guys and we are about to prepare our post closing trial balance so after natin maklose lahat ng ating uh, ledger accounts and in the ba na journalize din natin gagawin natin yung post closing trial balance to see if balance pa rin ang ating assets, liabilities, and equity. Sa ating post-closing child balance, ang gagawin natin is to post the amounts na ginawa natin. Ngayon, dahil nakaklose tayo ng ating mga accounts, tatanggalin lang natin yung mga accounts na naklose natin. Starting from the withdrawals hanggang sa ating expenses. So, hang hanggang sa capital lang ang ating ililipat. So, we'll try to do it, no? Transferring our accounts. Tapos, tingnan natin kung balance. It is possible na magkaroon kasi tayo ng error sa pag-post ng adjustments sa ng closing entries sa mga ledger accounts natin. So, it is necessary para malaman natin kung equal pa ba yung accounts. Gumawa tayo ng post-closing trial balance. Gamitin ang ledger para malaman kung may error. Tapos, uh, the trial balance contains only balance sheet items such as assets, liabilities, capital, because all income and expense accounts as well as the withdrawal account have zero balances. The ledger cash, di ba? Ang total natin, 2,600 debit. So, ayun siya. Tapos, um, accounts receivable, 36,000 sa ating ledger debit. So, 36,000 debit. Supplies, 15,000. Dahil nga sa adjustment, 15,000 siya. Dahil nabawasan siya ng 3,000. Tapos, after non meron tayong prepaid rent. Ang prepaid rent natin ay 8,000. Pero may adjustment na 4,000. So, na-pencil foot natin siya na 4,000 na din. Tapos, we have the service vehicle. Same amount, 420,000 pesos. And our office equipment, 60,000 pesos. So, ayan. Tapos, syempre, meron tayong accumulated depreciation na 4,000 and ayan, 1,000 kay office equipment. Tapos, next natin yung mga payable na natin. So, ang notes payable natin, 210,000 siya. Wala siyang adjustment, no? Same with our accounts payable na wala ding adjustment. So, uh, 53,000 pa din. Also, utilities payable, 1,400. Tapos, yung salaries payable natin na 1,800. Ayan. From the ledger accounts. Yan. And interest payable, lastly, 3,500. And... Most importantly, our capital, which is 262,900, which is from our changes in equity, dun sa statement natin. So, if you add both the debit and the credit side, we will get 537,600. So, balance pa rin ang ating post-closing child balance. Tapos, move na tayo sa ating 10th step. This is one of the happiest feelings in the life of an accountancy student, no? Knowing na after all the adjustments, the closing entries you've made, after all the problems na nangyari, charot, lahat ng errors na na-check natin, uh, nag-end up pa rin tayo with a balance uh, asset liabilities and owner's equity nakita pa rin natin yung um, equation natin, yung accounting equation natin na uh, balance pa rin si debit and si credit. And that's what matters most right now. Tapos, uh, move on to the reversing entries. So, see you sa next video. Bye!